Okay, so let's move on. Next is freepagebuilder.com. Uh, in a nutshell, uh, some of the things that Matt and I are talking to you about right over here is uh, the original project that he was working on, Pagestead, that we were now partners with. We were gonna take that and we were gonna make that Groove Pages. As soon as we started the project, Matt said, stop, hold on. Most of that stuff we're talking about right here. Uh, so we're gonna continue to talk about that there. That's a legacy product. And it was actually quite functional. So at the end of the day, when we decided to do Groove Pages, what we call Groove Pages 2.0, but what will be known as Groove Pages, um, we decided to start from scratch. And the question was, what do we do with this code? Do we literally just hit the delete button, drag it into the trash bin and say, well, that was great. It was very functional. So we decided to give a gift to the world and put it out there at freepagebuilder.com. Now, many of you that backed the project got Free Page Builder Pro, and simply what that means is you can wrap a custom domain around it. So you can have your site.com instead of your name.freepagebuilder.com as your URL. And the bottom of your websites, they don't say powered by Free Page Builder because you have a pro account. But essentially, that's Free Page Builder. It's a great platform. We're giving it away for free. And it also leads people into our ecosystem of Groove apps. When you learn about Free Page Builder, this great Free Page Builder that lots of people will use, they're going to learn about Groove apps and then obviously Groove Pages, which is the robust page builder. So the video that Matt and I are talking about is mostly about this. I'm not going to talk much about Groove Pages. I'm going to sit down and continue that discussion with Matt. But what is GrooveApps.com? This is a place where you're going to log in and see all of our software companies in one place with the exception of Free Page Builder. Okay? Right now, we have GrooveCart. That's an e-commerce pl platform that competes with Shopify. That will later be ported over to Groove Apps as well. Single login, single sign-on is what we want. Uh, next, we have WebinarGroove.com. This is going to be a leading platform, again, using the latest technology. This is about 30 to 40% done already, and that will do live webinars and automated webinars. It'll be more powerful and more affordable than anything on the market. The pricing for that is yet to come. And then, of course, I'm going to move over to here. Remember, we're talking today over here about group pages, but we're also doing GrooveMail.com. This will be the leading platform on the internet to not only do all of your email marketing and all of your autoresponders, but it also does your tagging, which allows you to do powerful automation and behavioral-based campaigns. Basically, if they've seen this page, then send them this email. If they haven't, send this email. Or if they've seen to this part of the video, send this email. And notice we'll also be doing text messaging and voice. This is about 70% done. Really, really awesome. This is gonna be somewhere, you know, again, starting 99, 199, 299 a month, uh, and different things like that. Pricing yet to come. Also, currently in development as we speak is GrooveSell. GrooveSell is gonna allow you to sell your products, uh, basically uh, have multiple price points, 497, two payments of 397, that type of stuff. It'll have free trials, it'll have recurring billing, and uh, basically, as we say here, a very powerful billing engine. It's gonna let you do everything you can imagine. One click upsells, anything you can imagine to sell digital products. And it's gonna have a world-class affiliate program so you can have an army of affiliates selling your products. Again, price to be determined. So, <clears throat> as you see here with GrooveCart, Webinar Groove, Groove Pages, Groove Mail, Groove Cell. We have a lot of stuff coming. Now, most of you watching this video right now uh, either own GrooveCart or you backed Groove Pages or both. If you haven't, I believe we're going to put a link underneath for you to find out more about this. And if you haven't backed this, about maybe another 24 or 48 hours to back this project because that's what this video is about. You're going to see me and Matt talking about it. And you're probably falling in love with the product, and maybe if you were living under a rock or you just truly didn't understand what was coming, we're going to give you one more chance to get that. And let me just mention, if, if it's not obvious, those of you that backed Groove Pages on the next page said, hey, for $497 to be paid in 30 days, would you like the future of Groove Apps? Meaning, would you like lifetime access to GrooveCart? Would you like... Uh, lifetime access to webinar group, lifetime access to GrooveMail, and lifetime access to GrooveSell. So yes, 
when you back this for 497, you had a, uh, an option to pay nothing for 30 days and an additional 497 30 days later, which is probably right about now. And that would give you lifetime access to GrooveCart, Webinar Groove, GrooveMail, and GrooveSell. Now, again, if you back this and you didn't quite understand what that offer was and you want to be able to back that product, that pro this entire project now as well, there'll be a link below in this video in the description where you can get uh, access to pay uh, $497, and at that point, if you've backed the group pages, you pay another $497, you're gonna get GrooveCart, Webinar Groove, Group Pages, Groove Mail, Groove Cell, basically everything we have for that one additional payment of $497, and you will never pay us a dime ever again. Some of you are coming to the help desk right now saying, hey, I'm confused, why did I get charged $497? I already backed group pages and are forgetting that you backed these future things. This is certainly not something you'd want to refund, but if you do, we'll give it back. We'll be glad to charge you $199, $199, and $199. So I think now you're starting to see why we're very, very excited. But here's some of the things we're not talking about over here with Matt about group pages. And um, that's some of the add-ons that will, we have question marks, but will likely be coming, but we don't want to fully promise. But we're probably going to be adding video hosting, uh, membership site, and a help desk. This stuff will be coming in a year after GrooveCart launches uh, to 18 months, okay? And furthermore, Groove Pages or Groove Apps will have robust integrations all under one login. So when you create an account for any of these products and you go to Groove Apps, if you wanna uh, integrate your Amazon S3, you do it once. You wanna integrate your Twilio, you do it once. You wanna integrate Zapier, you do it once. Any integration that, that, that's out there, you would integrate just one time and then it, it, you're gonna have the same profile all the way across all the different sites. We're gonna integrate pretty much with everything that's out there and we, of course we will have Zapier that if we didn't yet integrate, you could always integrate with uh, Zapier's very, very robust API. So that is Groove Digital. Uh, that's the future of this company. If you paid 497 here uh, and another 497 here, then you've backed it for life. If you previously bought GrooveCart, you still would have to back Groove Pages and then back these future projects. So right now, uh, that's about it. I'm gonna jump right back over here with Matt and we're gonna continue talking about Groove Pages. All right, Matt, so that's, um, I think now they're pretty, uh, pretty excited. And uh, you know, I know I, I am. Yeah, as I said uh, before, we'll put a link uh, below. If you haven't backed the group pages project and you, now that you understand it more, you might want to get in. And now that you actually see about the upsell, if you did back the project and didn't buy it or were confused, or if you go to buy it now and want to buy it, or if you're just a GrooveCart customer, whatever the case is, that upsell gives you basically everything. GrooveCart, webinar groove, group pages, groove mail, groove sell. All of Groove, Groove apps for four ninety seven. You'll never pay us a, a dime again ever. Take my money. I think that's really cool. So Matt, I think the only thing left right now is we said we were going to um, maybe show them a little bit of uh, of uh, uh, Groove app. Uh, group, uh, <laughs> let me uh, screw it. I'm a little crazy. We're going to show them a little bit of Groove pages right now. Okay. All right. Okay. So uh, let's just jump into your computer and just like that. We now, with some movie magic, we have Matt's screen right here. I'm actually going to turn over here and look with you. I'm recording Matt's screen as well so that we can actually punch into this so you can actually see full screen detail and not have to watch it here. So if you see a little glare, don't worry here. When we start going to some of the magic in here, I'll punch in for you. So Matt, um, go ahead. Tell me, uh, tell me what we, uh, what we got right now. Because um, basically, folks, we built the entire back end of this thing. Right. And now we're getting to the front end uh, where we can actually start focusing on building this builder. And as you right. see right here, uh, Matt, what are these different things right here? So um, from top to bottom here, we have a, uh, a template section. Um, we have a block section. So the section. templates, that's, that's going to be the full page templates that we spoke about earlier that we're going to design all of these things Correct. And they might, for you. Correct. We, we might even consider doing full page templates mm -hmm. or full sorry full site templates mm -hmm. where you would have certain multiple pages okay so uh, very similar to things like Wix and Squarespace where you have um, actual doctors website real estate websites pre-designed right. websites you'll find them for you now folks I understand um, you know uh, Michelle is telling me that when we went to the white background 
uh, we're on auto, so it's trying to adjust, and we went very, very dark here right now, but that's quite all right. So uh, so what else we got uh, here next, Matt? So the next one is our, uh, our block section. Um, right now, you know, we just have a bunch of uh, wireframe blocks in here to, to you know, test the application yeah. with. These are testing blocks, not what right. we're going to be getting, but we, we did need to put some makeshift blocks together right. so we can drag and drop and see that Correct. the functions are working. Right. Later on, you will see here, uh, you know, um, categories like headers, footers, mm -hmm. forums, you know, content sections, maps, you know, so forth. All right, so basically, folks, what you're seeing here, this is a rewrite up. So if you saw freepagebuilder.com and you were like, oh, I know some people got confused and you're thinking we were building on that, it's not the case. We've, no. we've been rewriting from the ground up with some world-class developers. Started right from scratch, yeah, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Uh, next up, we would have, and this is still to be constructed, a component section. Countdown timers. Countdown and, timers. Uh, you would have your, your buttons, your slideshows, your images, headers, your, videos. Exactly. Uh, exactly. All, all that good stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, next up, you would have your, uh, your pages section. Mm -hmm. uh, this is probably going to be redone in a slightly different way. We might remove this from the side section and, and put it elsewhere if it makes more sense. Okay, uh, but just so you know, this is something that nobody else has in, in our particular market. They All you do is just build pages and then link pages if you're making funnels. Right. This is actually like in site mode, right. so you're actually seeing the different pages on the website that you could link in the menu dynamically. Right. You would have like an index or home page, like an uh, about us page, a contact page, and so forth. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. And the last section here, would, this is going to be our, uh, our pop-up menu. Um, Again, not really entirely sure how that's going to end up looking, but that's going to be uh, a, sort of a what you here. see with free page builder. You know that call that like a base of an idea of a concept we're going to start, but it's going to be very very robust. It's going to be mm -hmm. yeah, it's going to be done in a nicer way for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, if we if we didn't mention before, uh, one of the things we're getting to, we're actually going to be creating one of the pages you can make will be a blog, and we're going to design. This will come later, not when we launch, but. Uh, you'll actually be able to make a, a, a title and then edit a blog, load images, everything like that. And you'll actually, your website will have a functioning blog with it. And then these pop-ups and all these different things that you want. Uh, we didn't even talk about opening up an API for other developers to come in to make different add-ons, you know, for, for blogs. Yeah, oh, there's a whole lot more stuff to talk about, so we might need yeah. to dive deeper into those things. Yeah, so next, if you're familiar uh, with, like, store. WordPress or Shopify, how they have a, an app store, we're going to open up our entire uh, development kit for other people to make APIs. So you can imagine there's gonna be a thousand, two thousand, three thousand apps. So if there's some guy that wants to go nuts and create the Groove Pages pop-up app for $49 and he just you know gives you everything that you can imagine that we would never get to or mm -hmm. even think of, that's like an app store for the iPhone. There are so many things Apple never would have got to. That's what we also have coming as well. Correct, absolutely, yeah. So Matt, you showed me some pretty cool things that are very different um, with your previous framework on like uh, how drag and drop works with, with ghosting. So if you could uh, basically show that here. And, and folks, what you're seeing here on these little handles and these things, that this is again, just we put stuff up there so that we can make it work. It's gonna be styled gorgeously. Right, and yeah, the blue, the blue element you see. So when you hover, when you move your mouse, uh, your cursor around on the canvas, you'll see red outlines combined with a, uh, with a blue button. You might not see it very clearly, but that is actually a drag and drop icon. So this is your drag handle right here. So if you were to grab it on there, you can move the element around. And yeah, you'll see you'll see a ghosted version of that element that you drag. Right, so to I'm going to do it go. on the screen here. So you see there's a ghost element right here, meaning you're going to drop it there. And now it's here showing you what it's going to look like before you let go of it. And then if, if Matt drops, uh, drags underneath the image, if you take that handle, just you're going to see right here, it shows you what it looks like and he just releases it. So nobody has a drag and drop like that. That's some pretty good work. Uh, everybody has drag and drop. Even Free Page Builder has drag and drop. But you know, all, the, all these little blue lines showing where you can go, the, those days are gone. It uses smart intelligence to know where you are on the page, and it gives you a ghost element to say this is what it would look like there before you let it go, and then you can just. Uh, and just you want, and this it. is some. This is something that is hard to convey during a video like this. But when you're actually doing this yourself, when so you're, it feels. It feels well. It feels very very smooth and very fast. So just, there's no lagging, there's no jumping, there's no weird stuff going on when you're dragging and dropping stuff. And you can have a very long page, and these pages aren't going to freeze or anything. No, no, no. So Matt, uh, talk about, uh, folks, if you've ever used a page builder before, and you're trying to get into an element, you start seeing yellow, green, and and blue go like just go crazy and you're trying you're trying to get into this little icon you can that every element is, is like to going like this and you're, you're and then as soon as you click it it's like nope headline and you're like yeah. I'm trying to just grab this little icon so I can drag it over here yeah. that's because 
We've had that problem too. And we've decided to think about this. How do we fix this? So how do we fix it here? So uh, we've spent a lot of time in, in trying different things and coming up with different ways of dealing with this. And uh, what we ended up doing is when you, so when you hover over an element and you click it, you kind of lock it in place. And so hovering see. shows you the, anything that you're over when you actually click your mouse. Now you're locked right. into that. element. You click anywhere, anywhere within the out, the red outline element and you will basically lock it in place. You can see you can move your cursor out and it will Get all your gears, uh, you can move out. Now you can move your your mouse around like you just said. Right. And it's not losing that element, no, which I think is this fantastic. This element will remain focused and you'll see a little toolbar pop up here. Again, the, the icons are showing black for whatever reason, they should be they should be white, but you'll have a, a bunch of icons up here that will allow you to uh, to work with the element that you've just now, selected. what happens if you selected that element, but you're like, but that's not the element I wanted. Right. I wanted, I wanted the parent element, you're trying to find it, what do you do? So if you if you look, you'll see, in addition to the red outline, you'll see like a yellow outline uh, that, that selects the, the direct parent mm -hmm. of the element that you just activated. And when you click the, the, the button to the far right here, it'll actually jump up to that element. So you can grab, you can, you're always able to jump up one element. So you in can the, move, the move up through the dome tree and, right. uh, you know, so if, if, if you've clicked on something when you thought you were getting this element and then you went into the icon, but you actually wanted the text editor, yep. you just go boop and then you pop into the text editor. Correct, correct. I, I know that sounds silly and we spent two minutes on it, but when you're trying to work on these things, th this is the stuff that drives you crazy. Yep. So um, the last thing we're gonna show you right now is some things in the style editor. That's yep. a little thing that opens up on the right side of the screen here for you. So if you notice, Matt just clicked on an element. So now a style editor specific to that particular element just showed up. So you, you, you can see this is, this is clean over here on the right side of the page. This is stuff that uh, just looks very, very modern. It, you know, it looks like something you know, uh, that came like right out of Apple or, or Keynote or something like that. And it's just super intuitive. So right. maybe, Apple, maybe, maybe mm, just point out, we'll make sure it's pretty quite sure. there. But. So right now you can see, uh, you can actually see on the top there we have something called expert mode. Mike mentioned previously that we're going to have, you know, two different modes that you can end up using. Right now we are in, say, uh, we would be in, say, marketing mode where yeah. certain things are going to be hidden that you will probably won't need if you just quickly want to put something right. together. Now just to let you know, Matt didn't want to show you this stuff because it's a checkbox and that's right. not how it's going to be. That it's would be a pretty nice yeah. style switch, but right, right now yeah, it's right. just this horrible exactly. looking checkbox, but uh, it does work. So if I go, to, if I if I select this, you'll see a couple of more options pop up right here. You'll see an, have an extra Expert padding. mode gives them more stuff. I like that. Okay, now I even understand it better than you explained before. Now I see it's that simple. Right, okay. right. So you'll see, you know, you have uh, automatically you get the uh, responsive selectors. So these these elements here allow you to, you know, to define styles specific for certain screen widths, uh, screen sizes. So if you want to have styles only have when you're uh, show up on your mobile, you would so actually. This select. is important. If you hover the mouse over here, Matt, uh, you'll notice up there you have mobile, tablet, laptop, and and desktop. Okay, so that's to preview it how anybody's gonna see it. What Matt was showing before in the style editor also has those, but that's, that's not a preview, that means apply to. So right. let me give you an example of how that works. Right here on my laptop, if I have a laptop, right, I may have one of my famous pictures where I'm pointing like this, and over here is an opt-in box. But what happens is on a mobile device, it has to say, okay, I can't fit both of those on this screen, so the first thing you see is just me pointing. So you come to a page with me pointing, and you scroll underneath, and there's an opt-in box. It doesn't work well on a mobile device. So you can say, apply this image on a mobile device off. We don't need mic pointing. If they're coming on an iPhone, let's just have the opt-in form. So this is some of the stuff that, if you can do it with the others, it's difficult. Uh, we're really seeing this through with a UI expert. Some of this stuff can even change, but it's just um, it's just really fantastic. Even the stuff here with the colors. This this next part is very very interesting. Matt, talk about that. How these blocks come with block primary colors. Each block has its own color palette specific to the block. Right. So. The whole idea of, of the page builder, as we mentioned before, is to try to, uh, you know, to prevent people to make like horrible looking designs. And part of that is using uh, a predefined stack of colors, so you don't keep on selecting a new color when every time you add something to the canvas. So what, what we are color stack right here with a, with a bunch of predefined colors, and we will allow people to add onto those if they want to. Um, you know, so if you click on one of these colors, 
you will automatically see a drop down that gives you different shades of that color. That and still fit w within the motif of that block. That, exactly, exactly. All of these colors are designed to go very nicely together so you can choose your different shades of different colors and they will still pair very nicely together. Yeah. So I think that's that's really it. You see, if we go back out one section of the, of, or down below that, there was the background, the padding, all these, all these different things. Um, what's going to make us powerful, as we said, is we've got we've got this uh, this great designer that's already working on some blocks. He's going to start doing some for Free Page Builder as well. But really, this is going to be uh, the hero part of his work: eight hours a day, six days a week, creating websites, uh, templates, blocks, funnels, pages. So if you want to be like me and get in marketer mode, great. And then you can even take your marketer mode pages, click that expert mode, and just go in and do some, some crazy stuff. Lightning fast pages, pages by direct marketers made to convert, websites, funnels, and then you tie that in with Groove Sell to be able to sell your products and have an affiliate program and do your live webinars and your automated webinars and your uh, sending your, your emails and behavioral based campaigns and it's all under one login called Groove Apps where all these apps talk to each other. Did you back the project? Did you buy the upsell and get the future projects? Matt, thank you very, very much. I know Matt actually is leaving in like 13 seconds. He's getting on uh, into his rent a car and he's going to be spending two more days in South Beach, Miami uh, for his first real trip here to the United States. He was here a few months ago for like a day to right. meet us and say, yes, we're going to be partners together. So Matt, I want to thank you very much. I know we went my about pleasure. an hour late into that's your time right. to do that's that. Right. That's You're going to hit rush hour traffic, and, but they really, really uh, appreciate it. So folks, if you actually watch this entire video, please do us a favor. In the comments below, do two things. Number one, welcome Matt to the team. Tell him how excited you are that he's a full partner now within this entire company. And number two, tell us how excited you are and we will see you in a couple of days. <laughs> All right, we're good. That's a wrap.